What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. I'm going to bring you guys a delicious, super simple, easy to make, affordable recipe. It's going to be part of a series that I wanted to do. It's called uh, Cheap and Healthy Recipes. So basically we're going to do a bunch of recipes that are really easy, super affordable, with easy to find ingredients. And we're going to put them into a playlist so you guys can use them for your everyday eating. This recipe is going to be super delicious easy to make and super affordable so let's get right to work okay let's go over these ingredients to keep this recipe as simple as possible these are pretty much household ingredients that are really cheap and affordable and we're gonna use these to make the rice the beans and the salad so what we have here is three quarters of a diced bell pepper half of a diced red onion, one large diced tomato. This is my smoked sea salt and chili. I just basically ground um, smoked sea salt in a, a spice grinder with uh, Thai chilies and made this. Uh, you could use regular salt. I'm using cumin about four to five cloves of minced garlic. These are organic black beans and these I bought at Aldi's but if you can't find them or you don't have an Aldi's locally I will provide the link below to Amazon where you can get organic BPA free black beans for a dollar a can and if you're a Prime member you get it delivered next day for free which is great um, so I'll provide the link below on that and this is organic brown rice also buy this from Amazon I haven't found this anywhere else but I get it for around three dollars per two pound bag I think it's three and some change I will also provide the link below where you can get this I'm using vinegar and organic olive oil and the rice that I have here is about two and a half uh, cups, so I'm using the same amount of water. And that's basically all the ingredients um, that we're using. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go over to our Aroma rice cooker and we're going to put the rice, the water and some salt in it and we're going to set it for the brown rice setting. Alright, so this is my Aroma rice cooker and basically it's got different settings for different um, grains for white rice, brown rice, sushi rice, uh, quick rice, it's got quinoa, uh, it's got a uh, warmer to keep the rice warm, it's got oatmeal, uh, you can saute on it, you can do soups and also you can do delay timer. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brown rice that we have and just put that in with the water. All right, we're gonna just drop a little bit of that salt, the smoked salt, you can use regular salt. Um, and we're gonna hit power. That's the power setting. And we're gonna hit brown rice. And this by itself, has got like a little thing here. Once it gets the steam high enough, it'll stop and the timer will start counting down. And then the rice, um, once it ends, you know, the timer, counts down the rice will be ready so basically we're gonna set that up there we're gonna start our beans over in our pot and we're gonna come back while the beans and the rice are cooking and we're gonna assemble our salad all right guys so somehow I managed to forget hitting the record button but what I have in here is my back black beans the whole can I added about a quarter of a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan just to cook the aromatics in first. So I added a quarter tablespoon of olive oil, then I added the onion, then the garlic, then the peppers, but about one tablespoon of each, not the whole thing, because the rest is going in the salad. So I use the ingredients that I'm using for the salad as aromatics in our beans. So while these beans are cooking, the rice is cooking, now we're going to come over 
and we're gonna assemble our salad. We're gonna let these cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And basically what's in here is the, the peppers, the onions, the garlic, and I put a little bit of cumin and a little bit of the salt in here, and that's it. So there's our black beans. Um, they'll be delicious. We're gonna put them over the rice with the salad, and now we're gonna assemble the salad. All right, so right here we have a glass bowl. I'm gonna throw in the tomatoes first, then our peppers. Cucumbers will go great in this salad if you have them. Um, greens, you know, uh, kale, anything else you, you wanna throw in. I'm gonna throw in the onion and the garlic, and as you guys might already know, uh, onions and garlic are part of the alien uh, plant, uh, family of plants and they're loaded with antioxidants and nutrients but if you cook them they lose uh, a lot of their uh, beneficial properties so basically I'm just adding them in there raw I try to use quite a bit of raw onions and garlic they have cancer preventing properties so I'm gonna add a little bit of my olive oil about a half a tablespoon or so I try to avoid uh, any kind of oil or fats in my diet but in this case, it's very beneficial as far as the taste and flavoring. So I'll use a little bit. I try to keep it under one tablespoon of oil per day in my diet. And I'm gonna add the vinegar in. And I love vinegar. So, and then my smoked salt. I'm gonna give this a good toss. To mix it up nicely. You could also throw jalapenos in here. Uh, cilantro I love in my salads. I love parsley, any kind of fresh herbs. You can use lime for, uh, for your acid instead of vinegar. There's a lot you can do with this. And I like to let this sit in the refrigerator. Uh, you know for 15 to 20 minutes while my beans are cooking and my rice is finishing up and then it'll be nice and cool and I'll suck up a lot of that flavor um, the, the flavors will really marry together and give it a taste to make sure the salt and everything else is good mmm that's perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the fridge and then come back when our rice and beans are done and we're gonna serve this and show you guys we have delicious cheap and affordable recipe you can make all right guys so I want to show you the rice look how nice it comes out in the rice cooker this is by adding uh, just even amounts of water and hitting the brown rice button what I do is usually I try to make a lot of rice at a time and then sometimes I'll meal prep and put the beans on top and set it in the refrigerator so I could eat it on the go or later if I don't have time to cook. But there is the finished product, really nice. So now what I do, if I'm gonna serve or put it as a meal prep, I take a plate. I'm gonna take a couple of scoops of rice. And I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna take the black beans, put that over the rice. And now our beautiful colorful salad with all that juice that's become super flavorful from the garlic and onion gonna take that and pour a little bit of that juice over the rice and beans to give it some nice flavor and also serve it give some nice color and there you have a beautiful delicious recipe super easy to make we took some ingredients from the salad put that to um, cook the beans it's all kind of integrated together super simple these are the kind of recipes i'm going to be bringing you guys for the next few weeks super cheap and affordable 
and super healthy and simple to make. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already for many more like this. And I'll see you really soon on the next one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this recipe a taste for you guys. Mm. Wow. Something this simple is amazing that can taste so delicious and it's so cheap to make. Mmm. Right away I get the garlic. I'm getting the freshness and the acidity of the vinegar. Mix them with the olive oil on the salad. The beans are amazing. I get that earthy taste of the cumin mixed in there. The rice is perfectly cooked. Mmm. It's such a beautiful combination. If you wanted to add like some sweet potatoes that you boil, you add them on the side to add some sweetness to this, it would go perfect. Mmm. This is delicious. One of my favorite all-around lunch recipes.